Hi there viewers, uh, we are here in Marrakech to cover the first African Road Safety Forum. We are honored today to have as a guest Ms. Susanna Tamataro, Director General of International Road Federation. Welcome Ms. Susanna. Thanks to you for having me. Thank you. Ms. Susanna, first of all, can you give us an overview about the missions of International Road Federation? Thank you, Sarah. Uh, the International Road Federation is uh, an independent, not-for-profit organization uh, which has been operating in the sector since 1948, uh, right after the war. So we have been acting uh, in this road and mobility sector for the past uh, 70 years. We basically function as a platform bringing together uh, all the actors from the public or the private sector or university, basically anything or anyone who has anything to do with transport and, and mobility. And our mission is really to uh, help them work together and uh, really foster this, this collaboration. The mission of the uh, Federation itself is to uh, promote the development of road no and road networks that enable access and sustainable mobility for all. The uh, word access and sustainable is the two key words uh, for us in all, in all this. Um, we should not be building infrastructure just for vehicles, but for all uh, the, uh, the road users. Mm -hmm. Ms. Susanna, you had a speech and uh, opening ceremony. Can you give us more information about your participation in this forum? Yes, we are here because this forum is uh, absolutely timely. Uh, we are a few steps away from uh, the decade of action and yes, unfortunately, very far away from the targets that we had, um, had set. So the opportunity to meet here at all levels, because the, um, uh, the ministerial representations, but um, a lot of um, expert colleagues have been here uh, sitting together, uh, trying to finally find a solution for Africa, but also for the, for the rest of the world, is absolutely uh, fundamental. I think what came out uh, from um, the speeches this morning, you have heard uh, many of the ministers uh, themselves and many of our colleagues uh, from uh, the WHO or the World Bank, uh, putting the accent on a key word and that's data. We need a good data to be able to understand um, what is happening and how to address uh, the problems and not just for, for, for Africa. The data is a problem for all over the world and we need to invest a little bit more on, on that. Mm -hmm. Ms. Susanna, why Africa has the higher rates of accidents? Mm -hmm. How that's can you explain <laughs> this? Uh, this? Well, that's that's a, that's a good question, and probably would, we would need a lot more time uh, to uh, to respond uh, properly. At the same time, it's a very simple question. Um, we work throughout the world to support the safe system approach. So um, let's get us our, um, us ourselves out of this idea that oh, we should only invest in education or in enforcement. What you need is an action 360 degrees on what we call the safe system approach. Uh, there should be some um, uh, road safety uh, management, so at the level of policy and regulations. Um, we need to tackle the issues of uh, vehicles and vehicle standards. We need to take care of all road users. And so focusing on uh, pedestrians, uh, bicyclists, the people who walk, literally, and there's a lot of people walking in Africa. Infrastructure, indeed, and that's, uh, as IRF, uh, it's our DNA infrastructure. Uh, it's a very complex problem and post crash care of course the five the five pillars uh, when you have a deficiency uh, in all of that uh, that's uh, that's that's the kind of of, of troubles uh, you get and africa is unfortunately right there there's a lot of good things happening don't get me wrong and actually we should commend many of the countries represented here for the work morocco is absolutely one of them who's leading leading uh, the way but uh, indeed um, I was saying this morning in my speech, um, yes, let's acknowledge that we have done a lot, there's been a lot of change, but time for celebration is still not there yet. We, can, we cannot celebrate until there's so many people dying on our roads on a daily, on a daily basis. Ms. Suzanne, we talk uh, Africa in this uh, forum. So uh, in May 2018, this year, a memorandum of understanding was signed about creation of African Road Safety Observatory. What will the benefits of this creation of this observatory for Africa? It's a fundamental step uh, forward because as I was saying uh, at the beginning, uh, without data yeah. we don't know what we are doing and we cannot tailor the, the proper solutions to the, to the problem. 
so the observatory, besides creating a, a network uh, where people can exchange expertise and, and knowledge, would also allow this transfer of competencies on how to collect data, how to manage data, but also how to use data. So that's a fundamental step forward and we as IRF are also helping, we collect data for, the, we have been collecting data for the past 55 years uh, with the World War Statistics and we are here in Marrakesh as well to launch a new piece of work, the IRF Global Road Data Warehouse, um, putting this data at the disposal of the observatories um, as well. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Uh, Susanna Samataro. You are the Director General of International Road Federation. Thank, thank you. you for all your answers. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you, dear viewers, for watching Web TV of the Ministry of Equipment, Transport, Logistics, and World. Goodbye. <laughs>